Hello laddies and lassies and welcome to Catch Up With Max and Jose episode 25. And that is my horrible Scottish accent. Actually, what that is, is me doing Mike Myers doing Shrek, who I'm pretty sure is doing Maggie Smith from the Prime of Miss Jean Brody. So, you know, it's a wonderful impression of that if you take that. I'm impressed, but for my friends abroad... Yeah, sorry well, about that. Yeah, let us know what you think. <laughs> but the reason, the reason that I was doing that is because uh, I'm getting ready to go to Scotland, which we will discuss later on in the episode. But before we do, I did want to talk about uh, an upcoming, uh, uh, not upcoming, a past episode uh, yes. about muscles. Because it's been a while since we've talked not, about a past not episode. Not these muscles. Not these muscles. These muscles. These muscles. And, and from there, we will oh, talk classic about... classic jokes. <laughs> classic. <laughs> Max's upcoming trip, and we'll wrap up with who knows what. Who knows mm -hmm. what. Thanks for watching. So, um, just got a drink tonight. It's been a while since I've had a drink. Trying to lose weight. Um, He's a lightweight now. But yeah, I am. Like one Cheap drink date. is gonna be enough. <laughs> um, and what is it? What did you make me? Uh, it's just sparkling water, strawberry sparkling water with some vodka and just a splash of grenadine for the color. Um, it's delicious. And we're using Portuguese Bend vodka. They're um, they're here in Long Beach, and they sent us a bunch of stuff. My hometown. Yeah. It's not a sponsorship, by the way. Mm -mm. I'm just saying. That they sent us a bunch of stuff, and it was really nice, and, and, and it's good. Yeah, so thank you, Portuguese Ben. Check them out. I'll put a link in the description. Your gin is fantastic. Um, I don't really like gin. I do. <clears throat> there are a few I like. But anyway, this isn't an alcoholic episode. No. <laughs> or an no, alcohol-focused episode. But, but the, um, there is wine with the muscles, I think. Was there? All right. I think so. Cool. So the ancient Roman muscles are in Metulis, as you called it. Yes. Um, this episode came out on June 16th, so it was the episode following Garum, which so for any new viewers or of Tasting History of my channel, you know, Tasting History was built on Garum. Built on a foundation <laughs> of fermented fish sauce. Yeah, no, uh, it was really exciting because this was the first time I was like, hey, I'm going to do one episode that ties into the next episode. So, yeah, so I made the Garum to use in the Muscles episode. Um, so they were kind of tied, and so when Garum took off, which was just, what, two days before the Muscles episode came out, because it like took off over the weekend and then obviously Muscles came out on Tuesday, I was really, really worried because what happens to so many channels is they have a video go viral. And that's it. Uh, it's, it's getting the consistent videos, you know, after you get that viral video. It brings a bunch of people in, but then if people aren't interested in the rest of your stuff, then, then you're kind of dead in the water, and it happens all the time, more often than not. Um, so it was like this channel. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I was really nervous about that, and, but it, it did really well. People were very interested, mm -hmm. so it worked out. Yeah, and I actually wanted to make next episode whenever I release that I, I have an outline of what I want to talk about but I do want to talk about like learnings and kind of just recap of things you've learned since because I know we've mentioned it in past episodes but I think it's important to kind of just retouch always learning come back you know because you know algorithm changes or best practices change and yeah you know and, and, and things that were working back then and might not work now and you know I think if you got if People have seen the content and the thumbnails that you posted. You do see an evolution. Yeah, no, <laughs> things have changed. Just in the we last made a few big, weeks. big change a few weeks ago. And you know, it, you probably didn't even yeah, notice, but it was huge for not us. Like big, we like, like questioned oh. it. <laughs> uh, just the formatting of thumbnails. So it's, yeah. it's 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 little things like that, and just trying to adjust. And we can talk and talk about that in the next episode. But yep, for this one. I want to go back to muscles. Uh, muscles. So, um, so that episode came out on June 16th, and on June 17th, you actually hit 350,000 views in one day, which is huge. Yeah, you don't get that too often these days, but you get close. And you, I mean, it, it happens every couple months now, but yeah. only recently did I start hitting those numbers. Yeah, like the Titanic kind yeah, of that a really game brought changer. In a lot of people. You know, that brought a lot of pre brought in a lot of people, and then compounded with other Titanic episodes, you know, you kind of hit those lofty numbers. Yeah. But the one number you don't hit anymore is uh, that same day on the 17th, you actually gained 24,000 unique subscribers. That's insane. And on a good day... On know, a good day, 2,000. 2,000-ish. 2000 I think... 
Other, yeah. Yeah. It, you, it rarely happens. I think during Titanic month, there were a couple days of like 5,000, yeah. which was unbelievable. But nothing compared 24, to... 24,000 in one place. day? I mean, just insane. I mean, the fact that you only had a couple of thousand, maybe 10,000 or something, so it's... Yeah, so it was like triple in... Yeah. Uh, well, I literally got 15 times the subscribers I had within like 10 days. Yeah. So he, Max did hit the YouTube lottery that day, and... Yeah. And again, we'll talk about it in an upcoming, <laughs> upcoming rest of, uh, episode of like just best practices and like consistency and all that. But um, so Apicius, like Apicius is always like I don't say your go-to, but for, when it comes to kind yeah, of Roman, I do a lot. I do a lot from him. Um, I mean, partly it's because nobody, well, not nobody, but he's the main source for ancient Rome. We've got a few others, Cato, and but um, he's the main source. They're also the best written recipes, um, tend to be, and they're not terribly well written, but they, they at least have every ingredient that's supposed to be used, we think, um, which isn't always the case. But also, you know, he's, it's just a topic that people like. It's a topic that I'm interested in. Um, you know, it's foreign enough, but still something like the, the, the flavors are always very interesting. Um, there's, there's kind of like a funkiness to them, um, yet still accessible. Like you don't spit it out. Yeah. Typically. I mean, I want to. Sometimes, um, but... <laughs> I don't think you tried the snails. I did the snails. I, but, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have ever. But what it's um, about, what it tasted like. Yeah. Can... But I actually have another pickiest recipe coming up. Yes. So <clears throat> with Scotland coming up, uh, actually during the time this airs. You will actually already be abroad in Scotland. Yes. Uh, I'm filming a few days before you take off for your trip. And so you've been working really hard for the last three weeks trying to get ahead, film. I, so film, yeah. you know, obviously the research portion, the editing, the writing, you know, it, it, it's a lot and trying to cram it. So to make sure that you, Taste Orients, aren't left without your weekly dose of tasting history. Really the person to thank is him because he has had to put up with my foul mood. Uh, not foul, but maybe a little less pleasant than a usual. A little, it's just irritable. It's a lot of pressure. Usually I do one episode a week and it's a full-time gig and mm -hmm. I've been doing about two and a half. The problem was I got sick in, in June and it took two weeks of work away. Yeah. So I've been like playing Probably from up. like yeah. Two months ago plus kind of set it's aesthetic. still yeah. like but but now I'm I'm, I'm in a good place mm -hmm. um, And you will have videos the whole time that I'm there and I'm, I'm I've written videos to film there That's why I'm going but um, So this week was beer ox next week is the apicus recipe. It is um, Artichokes and I talk about different herbs because uh, we're starting an herb garden um, and we got rue, which is not something that you usually find. So I'm going to talk about some of those harder to find kind of weird herbs that I really, really want. Um, like and marshmallow. And just really quickly, I only had uh, artichokes for the first time a few weeks ago. We went up to Ventura uh, for one night because we had a free hotel stay. <laughs> we <laughs> had to use it. We're like, yeah, use it or lose why it. not? It was 10 degrees cooler. <laughs> Or it was like, like 40 minutes and it was yeah, like 30 so, degrees cooler. Yeah, it was a lot cooler. So we're like, yeah, why not? And um, I want to hear people's opinions on artichokes and maybe oh, best practices or... They're a lot of work. Or, yeah. For I, very little reward. I was conflicted, reward. yeah. But the reward is delicious. It was a lot of work. And I was telling Max while I was eating, it's like, this is a horrible uh, first date appetizer <laughs> it is it, yeah no i wouldn't you're like that was chewing not, and scraping yeah, and then putting things yeah, into things like that you've had in your mouth into a, yeah not, bin, and i was like i don't it's know like chicken wings it's like a bad first date but at least chicken wings are chicken uh, crab you know legs that's a terrible first date thing uh, crab legs aren't for me but anyway let me know what you think about artichokes but um, i didn't know that what I did learn in my whole gardening adventures, though, are how beautiful artichokes look, though, if you let them flower. Yeah. Um, some beautiful flowers. But anyway, uh, this we is... We did a... not grow the artichokes that I'm using <laughs> no. in this, by the way. So no, no, no. We that was a little misleading. <laughs> Sorry. God, no. Oh, I'll touch on gardening and... Whole Foods grew them, or... <laughs> all the flops uh, them going on with gardening. Um, See, but no. that's actually where we got the herbs when we were up in Ventura. That's where we got the rue. There, right. there was a wonderful little farmer's market, and we were like, all right, we'll go. And... This guy was selling just herbs, 
No, and, not quite. Right? No, we got herbs and. Did he have flowers too? I picked up a. Uh, not Is that a where picture, you got the Venus flytrap? Not. I got the Venus flytrap and I got uh, like an American pitcher plant. Oh yeah, that's and. Cool. My poor baby. It's hard to keep alive. They are struggling. Yeah, they are struggling. They it's only like distilled water or reverse osmosis water, <laughs> and they they do like a, a you know a wet environment and and woodland. And we hills. haven't had rain since like January. It's so. been like ninety five degrees plus, and yeah, it's, no. it's been tough. You know, um, this is a val valiant effort though. Yeah, and then wait, so real back the Venus flytrap. I, I guess for the most part they really don't like live bugs, so it's like. Hey, did I find a live bug on the pool that is still alive and kicking? And it's like, oh, great, let me. So I fed him like a little moth. It like over a few days, that poor Venus fly trap head. Audrey, one, two, three, four, five. I have, it, there's it, a lot of heads. <laughs> Just slowly it, turned black. Yeah, and, and like wilted. It must have had, because the chlorine in the water or something in the pool water. Or maybe it was a poisonous moth. I don't know. But if, you, if anyone has any tips on these. Keeping the thing is, trap alive you, in the desert. Because we live in Woodland Hills and it's very hot. Um, Max is a vampire and he keeps me refrigerated between 68 and 72 degrees. So I think indoors it's still too cold for them. So That's how I stay young. You know, that's how he stays young. Look at him. That's right. Eternal man. 40. That's pretty good. Flavor 36. No. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be 40. I'm 39. Mm. But, uh, but yeah, so we got the Rue there. I got Zatar. Really hard to find. Usually you can get it like in a blend. It's a Zatar blend of dried things. But this is actually the plant Zatar um, that we're growing. And you're growing a few other things. Oh, gosh. When it comes to herbs... I went through quite the trial getting these herbs for a medieval haggis recipe that I'm doing in Scotland. I wanted fresh uh, herbs for it, hyssop and savory. Very hard to find fresh, but you can, um, but you can't bring them on a plane. So I needed to get them in the UK, and uh, luckily I had somebody on Twitter. I posted, anybody have these? And somebody on Twitter said, hey. I grow these and she's going to overnight them to um, the guy that I'm working with in Scotland. Yeah, hopefully I need to message her tomorrow and be like, just reminding you. <laughs> um, but so really excited about that. I also got dried ones just in case. Just in case. But, um, it's not the same. The semi-fresh will be. And I did try growing uh, hyssop, but again, Woodland Hills. It's really hot. You know, well, we shouldn't be doing this in the summer. Yeah, no, just in general gardening. And apparently there's like some kind of super drought going out yeah, like so. across multiple states and pick it up again in november but um i'll we'll touch some of my gardening <clears throat> adventures and mishaps in a bit but uh back to scotland so what is the impetus of you going to scotland like why are you leaving me for two and a half weeks uh and, yes. me and the kitties and the kitties, and the kitties. Uh, i'm going with my brother um so Back when I first started the channel, well, it wasn't very far into the channel. It couldn't have been more than six months after I started That's it. That's right. You ate that dog food, Cagus. Uh, yeah. I had a viewer from the UK send me a can of haggis. Mm -hmm. um, and I had never tried it, and so I tried it. And I did it in a live stream. You can go watch it. Um, and I tried the haggis, and while I was researching the haggis, I came across an actual medieval recipe from 1430 for haggis. It's a poem. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want to make this. Um, but the thing is, one of the main ingredients in haggis is sheep lung. And that is illegal here in the United States. You can't even like get it from a farmer. You can't do it on the sly because their stuff go, first of all, it's not worth it for them to break the law. Um, and I would never ask them to, but they also, that stuff just goes basically straight to the actual dog food and cat food plants. Um, but I was like, hey, what a great reason to plan a trip to Scotland. So I asked my brother, um, you know, you want to go to Scotland? So we've planned a trip to Scotland. And so I'm going to be doing that episode <clears throat> and uh, an episode on Macbeth, the real historical Macbeth, um, and actually filming at Schoon Palace, provided everything goes. According to plan, knock on wood. Since we're ahead of schedule, and that's not going to be filmed or aired for a few weeks, if anyone has any great ideas... That's not going to be aired until October. Well, think. there you go. But in between now and October, if anyone has any great ideas, put it in the comments. Or anything... For episodes, yeah. September, I, mean, I have nothing planned. No, no. Well, I mean, as far as Macbeth is related, 
Oh. Because um, sometimes Max will send me his scripts to kind of just like look over and then send some like in red marker, Microsoft Word. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, this sucks. Start over. Find a new job. I'm, 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 He's I'm, actually I'm, really, really nice. <laughs> on but his, his I am, notes I am are often very constructive. useful. Um, <clears throat> but uh, speaking of me. And I got I got called out for mean comments last time. I'm, I'm very loving. I'm not. Mean comments. Well, someone's like, oh, oh, because he was joking. What did he say? I don't know. Something that's like, oh, I can't uh, even remember. Something related now. to our engagement. Or we wedding. joke. We joke. Yeah, I mean, I gotta keep him on his toes. Somebody like, was like, if I make it too easy for him, like, especially because he's never mean, like ever. <laughs> so often, once in a while. Um, needs... <laughs> but anyway, so uh, mean comments. So I'm still collecting those. From like yes, from we want to go through mean comments upcoming episodes. But the thing is, there's a lot of nice people. There are, and most of them are nice. And I, I look at some of the mean ones. They're just it, too mean. They're too mean. <laughs> they're mean. It's like nice and then super mean and nothing super right toxic in the mean. and yeah, just like, like I don't say not race like just mm, home, either plenty of race homophobic people. or racist. Yeah. Not towards Max, but just like it, it's it's just. You know, but um, I'm trying to find that nice balance where it's like, or ha, ha, ha. people sticking up for Stalin after Tuesday's video, y'all. Uh, if you're on Stalin's side, you're on the wrong side. I, I don't know my history that well, but uh, <laughs> don't be like, on Stalin's side. <laughs> you know, um, but so I'm working on that still. So yeah, send us it, send it, us mean it, comments it, when you find them in the video. <laughs> I'll take because I never look. I'll take screenshots. <clears throat> you do get a lot of emails, but usually it's like actually actually yeah yeah and those are always fun the creepiest is though when when somebody um is mean in a handwritten letter i don't get a lot of handwritten letters mm -hmm. so when i do i love them but then sometimes they're mean and it's like you took a lot of time to be mean they were so hate-filled that they were willing to put a postage stamp and wait for you to see that wow that's that's, that's mean Anyway, other videos <laughs> coming up. I've got feijoada, um, which people are super excited about. While well, I'm gone, feijoada. Are you, are you gonna like come to Brazil at some any time soon? I would like to go to Brazil. I'd like to go to Brazil <clears> too. Oi, yeah. amigos, tudo bem? Because uh, it's the bicentennial of uh, Brazil. Mm -hmm. So I talk a little bit about their um, independence. You know, short. It's kind of a big history, so it's like two minutes. Mm -hmm. But. Um, and then I make feijoada and talk about feijoada. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Quite the undertaking. I Quite the most expensive dish I think I've made in a very long time. Because it has so much meat and it is all imported. So it's like, oh, you want a sausage? Yeah, that'll be $35. And, that's a, and, and that, they're like 10 And that's what's interesting because this dish, feijoada, <laughs> it's supposed to be beans and it's supposed to be, I don't want to say lower class, but you know, like, it's kind of like remnant it's the food of everyone, and dried meats. And, whether you're rich or poor. Yeah, so like, you know, the slaves had cooked it at some point, <clears throat> and then the upper elite had cooked it at some point. But it's supposed to be cheap and accessible. Not and, if you're in the U.S. and, and, and importing everything and from America and, Brazil. And importing all these linguisa and like all these farofa and ingredients. Um, yeah, it didn't become rather expensive. And I watched this video in the subtitles. I didn't get credit for helping make the side dishes. So, hey, I made oh, those yeah. side dishes. <laughs> because I was so busy. He was very sweet and made them. I helped. Again, that's more time for him to research so he could do more episodes. So. Exactly. I, I almost never help with the actual cooking because it's usually stuff that I don't really want to be involved with. <laughs> but um, including putting a rubber glove on an artichoke. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to see anyway, where that anyway, gets anyway, us. Anyway, 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 anyway. Okay, so... Back to Scotland. I feel like I'm rambling. How long are we talking? I don't know. I have no sense of time. Oh, shoot, 20 minutes. Okay. Scotland. <clears throat> Talk about Scotland and what else you're doing. So in Scotland, um, so I'm filming two episodes, and uh, we're also going to be in York for one full day, so two nights there. Um, and then after the, the two episodes are filmed in Perth, we're kind of exploring uh, you know, we're not really doing any of the big cities. My brother and I have done Edinburgh and Stirling and Glasgow. So we're um, we're mostly doing like the Isle of Mull, the Isle of Skye, um, different places in... Is Isle of Skye that wine glass or is that am I thinking something else? Yes. So okay. it's Bunny Prince Charlie. Okay, real quick. Um, I know I, I tend to harp on uh, Soul Cakes as one of my favorite episodes. 
I thought it was really funny. His jokes were dumb and stupid, and I loved him. Hilarious. Watch it. Um, but I do think this uh, Wine of the Gods. Wine of the Gods on, episode. On it was crystal wonderful. and glass. Really interesting. It was super interesting. It did not do that great. So do yourself a favor and watch that we'll watch. episode and learn about the Isle Sky and glass making because I think it's a really good episode. Yeah. And also he did a really good job with the thumbnail. So props yes, to it's you. very pretty. Um, so we're we're doing that mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. we're going to some whiskey distilleries. Actually staying overnight in one, um, and then we're finishing the trip with a trip to the Braemar Gather Gathering which are the Highland Games. There are lots of Highland Games uh, in Scotland, but these are the Highland Games. Is that... the queen gonna be there? Yeah, well, depending on her on her ailments, um, but it is the one that the royal family goes to because she's it's sick. very close to Balmoral. She's, she's not well, um, but she's also just aged, um, but Charles will surely be there and, and William and Kate and, and a bunch of them. So that should be cool. I'm not hanging out with them, but I should be able to see them because it's actually not that big of a place. You should send them an email like, hey, hey, <laughs> just, you know, if you want to grab I, a drink, I, I, Kim's I, cup. I do wish you would kind of leverage your uh, YouTube celebrity. With the queen? <laughs> Not with the queen, but maybe with other. I don't think Elton John can get a meeting with the queen. <laughs> He's already Sir Elton John. He got his Oh, movie. yeah, he did get a meeting. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> Clearly. It, uh, Where's my knighthood? No, I think I'm American. No, I don't okay. think I can get a knighthood. Maybe by the fifth meeting. I don't know. That's anyway, impressive. if anyone has any, any suggestions of people... You, you think Max should like collaborate, do something with? I think that'd be fun. Cause what's one? You've already talked. You've talked to Sola. There's a, like mm -hmm. a video or two out there. Mm -hmm. You talked to Townsend's, which I think is probably your first. We need one. to do something else with them. Uh yeah, Townsend's. We love John. Uh, and then uh, we need to go to Indiana and uh, Josh from Mythical Kitchen. You do his podcast yeah. and maybe something in the future again, hopefully. Cause I mean we're not in Burbank anymore, but you know he's not that far. And then half hour. Say hi to Miss Carl. Come for me. Well, we're not in oh. that part of England. Oh, okay. Well, forget it. Moving on. Moving Back to on. You. Um, well, I guess that's it. So that's that's our trip to Scotland. It's been it's been it's been rough because um, I'm really excited for it, but I have like probably talking to like 25 or 30 different people over there, or have at some point to to set this up because finding a place to, to film different things and finding people to film. We're bringing a camera and my brother's gonna help, but on those two days, the the, the two big days of filming, um, I'm, I'm getting some help uh, just for, for expediency. Um, you know, is it gonna be raining? What is lighting like? All that kind of stuff. But uh, like I'm gonna be filming at uh, Schoon Palace, which is where Macbeth and all of the kings of Scotland were crowned though they didn't have a crown, were invested as king, decided as king. Um, but I had to get approval from like five different levels. That's right. There. Oh my God, this is yeah. finally happened. This has been an endeavor. Um, but we had <laughs> to get final approval from the Lord and Lady. I think it's an Earl actually who uh, owns and I think lives at the palace. Um, so they had to give our give their approval for me to film And they there. said yes. They said yes. And they were actually very excited that I'm talking about the historical Macbeth over the Shakespeare one. So mm -hmm. they were on board with that. Um, I've gone through a number of butchers. Uh, so it turns out I cannot make haggis. Um, I, I need to have a butcher make it, but I'll be with them and he'll, he'll show me how. It's far too complicated. Uh, it's, you need a lot of equipment. And basically everyone was like, unless you've done it 50 times, you will ruin it. Um, and it's just too expensive and I don't have enough time to do that. So we're, we're getting the professional in. Um, but you know, the first people I was working with, the butcher shop closed down and then the second people just kind of ghosted me and the third. So it's been a whole thing. And even as far as like two or three days ago, it was not locked in. Um, but now it is, or else I'm going to be knocking on a butcher shop door. <laughs> And well, you know what, if that happens, then we just go taste the haggis somewhere else at a restaurant and real haggis talk about the history. The canned dog food that you <clears throat> ate. Yeah, because the cool ago. thing is, the medieval recipe is not all that different from the modern recipe. Um, the big difference is a lack of spices. Um, they didn't use spices in the recipe, they used a bunch of herbs. And today, they don't really use herbs, they use spices. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's the, that's the biggest difference. It also doesn't mention oatmeal, but most of the old recipes do mention oatmeal. 
And the butcher says if you don't make it with any kind of oatmeal, it does have trouble holding like together. So we will be using oatmeal. Um, yeah. I just finished that script today, and history is really fun. We're going to go haggis hunting. Okay. Wait for that. Good luck. <laughs> I won't be here. I'll be um, in Woodland Hills. Uh, with the cats. With the cats. So uh, follow along my adventures gardening, I guess. Uh, on Instagram at tasting. No, wait. That's you. That's me. <laughs> at World Against Jose. And then, of course, Max's adventures on Instagram. No more for you, son. Uh, at, uh, what is it? History tasting. On what? A taste of history. What's your handle again? Tasting history with Max Miller. There we go. <clears throat> on Instagram, tasting history one on Twitter. Yeah, we gotta get that one off. We gotta get, we gotta figure that out. Um, There's already a tasting history. It's like a small wine club in. No, no, that's different. North Carolina. Not is it that. Not? One. No, there's a girl who has tasting history, but she's been inactive for a while. Huh. Anyway, so um, thanks for watching us ramble. I'm sorry yeah. for the longer episode, but uh, that's all right. There it is. On to the next. Yep. Uh, Bye, everyone. All right, so I know we said our goodbyes, but I had to come back because hey, I realized I did not pray that's cut talks. It's Jamie. Hi, oh, buddy. He's also on a diet, but I think he's just a big chunk regardless. He keeps eating Cersei's food, and we have to even, we keep them separate while they eat, and somehow he still gets to it. Look at him. He's adorable. He is. A little menace. Though, does anyone know of any diet cat foods? Is that a thing? Probably. We need some. Thanks, everyone. Bye.